Now, there's one more way to output your movie, and this cuts to really what the purpose of Motion 5 is going to be for a lot of users, which is to create graphics and elements to be used in Final Cut Pro. So here I've built this graphic, and let's say we want to save this as a template or as an object to be used inside of Final Cut Pro. Well, first of all, we want to be able to identify which elements we can modify once we get to Final Cut. And there's all sorts of things that we can do. We can set specific parameters or specific text to be able to edit. And you can choose specifically what. So when I go to my, I select this Motion 5 text object, I scroll down here in the inspector, you'll see an option here that says Editable in FCP. And when that is turned on, that means that when we send this, if we save this as a template for use in Final Cut, we're going to be able to edit that text inside of Final Cut Pro. So I'm turning that on, and that's going to work great. Next, I'll select the Elkham 2. And I'm not going to modify the, I'm not going to let us change the text. That's, that's not editable because we don't want to be able to change that. It's part, part built in. But I can go to the properties here and let's say we want to take the opacity of that and make that adjustable. I'm going to click on the pop up menu here and say publish. And that's going to take that one parameter and publish it so that that parameter, the opacity of the word Elkham 2 is going to be flexible when we get to Final Cut Pro. So now I'm just going to go to the file menu and say publish template. And here we have the publish template dialog. And the first thing you want to do is say publish as Final Cut generator. And what that's going to do is that means that we're going to be able to access this file as a generator within Final Cut Pro from the generator's browser. So I'll go in here. Let's name this and we'll call this welcome to motion. And we're going to set the category. I'm going to create a new category called Mac Pro Video. And we'll save a preview movie. Why not? Oh, just say create. Save a preview movie. We don't need to assign a theme. I'm just going to say publish. And it's going to output that file. It's going to export it. And when it's done, we're going to switch over to Final Cut Pro. Give it just a second here. And it's done now. Let's just switch over to Final Cut Pro. And then in Final Cut Pro, here if I show my generators tab, you're going to see there's a category called Mac Pro Video. And in that category, we've got the little Welcome to Motion 5 generator that we just made. So just like that, we can access it right here in Final Cut. If I add it to my project, uh, never mind, it doesn't really fit in this project. But first of all, we've got the clip here in the project. And if I look in the uh, inspector over here, if I go to the generators category here, I can see that I can now adjust that opacity parameter that's going to make that welcome to letters fade up and down, just like that, because that is the parameter that I publish. And you can, you can publish any parameter for any of the objects in your motion project. And they'll show up here in the Publish Parameters category in the Generator tab. And if we go to the text area here, you see I can change that word Motion 5 because I said that text would be editable in Final Cut Pro. So let's say we wanted to call this Final Cut X. And now it's going to do the same exact thing, only it's going to say Welcome to Final Cut X and so forth. And you can customize your, your settings right here inside of Final Cut Pro. So being able to save stuff in Motion or use Motion as a tool to generate effects for use in Final Cut Pro is really one of the great strengths of Motion 5. And I'm going to cover a whole lot of more details about that, including building rigs where you can combine effects and all sorts of really cool things that you can do to output your projects for use in Final Cut Pro X. So hopefully this has been enough to whet your appetite, give you enough to get you started playing with Motion 5 on your own, and also encourage you hopefully to join and watch the rest of these videos because there's going to be a, a whole series of stuff here covering Motion 5, every aspect of the program in full detail. And so if you're ready, it's time to move on to the next tutorial.